Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my full collectible guide for Kina, Bridge of Spirits. We're going to be doing Storehouse this time, so the entirety of Storehouse. Uh, this is a very small short area that kind of links two other areas together. So you get to it by going west out of the village, across the bridge. So you have to, you have to come here as part of the story, obviously. So I'm starting from the very beginning. Uh, there are just three rot, a spirit mail and a hat to find here. That is it. So I'm starting in the village section. I'm going to do, as I usually do, quick, a quick run through of the area so you can follow along if, is, if this is your first time because you can get everything here the first time. I mean, there's only five things, so <laughs> it's not that difficult. Uh, of course, timestamps are in the description. Um, and there's gonna, I'm going to show the map, even though it's quite useless in this one because it doesn't actually show you anything uh, whenever I pick anything up so you know where you're going. So as you first come in here for the first time, you're going to want to come and uh, do a pulse on this uh, section here, that, that circle, and the, the lady's going to appear and you're going to get bombs, which you're going to do by throwing L, uh, L2 and R1 to throw one. Uh, and then once you first get it, go and uh, suspend these blocks in the air. So any of the blue blocks you see from now on that kind of flash like that, you can suspend them in air using the bombs. Uh, do it on this first patch here to the left, like here's, <laughs> I said the map was useless trying to show you where things are. Yeah, this is, it's just there somewhere. There's no detail in the map so you can't actually make it for reference, but it is such a small area this place, uh, don't worry about it. You're able to figure out where you are. Where you are. So from there, turn back around and go for the ones that are on the right as you as you come into the area. The ones to the immediate right as you come into the area lead up to a chest that just gives you some crystals. Uh, I'm not going to be getting that because it's not part of any story uh, trophy. Uh, here, as you come up as part of the story, you need to come up and uh, free two sections off. Uh, as you come up here, you'll get attacked by enemies, and then you can blow this bulb up here. And then you're going to pick up the spirit mail for the area. And it's this one down here. This one is the one you need to deliver it to. That's going to open that area up in village. Again, map. Not so good for show actually showing you where I am. Uh, now, you don't actually have to come up here for anything else with regards to collectibles. But for anybody who's doing this area for the first time, I'll just show you how to, where you need to go, basically. So you're going to pop this one. Now if you look to the right hand side now and jump up on the on the uh, other platform to the right there's another section up there. There's another chest up there with um, crystals in. We don't need them. Well I don't for this particular guide so uh, if you want to get them though go and get them. Uh, this is what you'll need to do. You'll need to throw a bomb at that and then rotate it to make the sections line up and then once you've done that you're going to drop back down. And you need to do that for both sides essentially so you can open up the main door. So dropping back down we're going to go up the other side now. You need to do it with this one. This one you'll need to rotate. So if it has a crystal on it, you can rotate it around like that. I think there's a few... I think there might be a chest... Not a chest... Um, a basket or something like that to the, the right-hand side there. You need to slide down here. So you will be coming down here. You're going to slide down here. Uh, lots of enemies in here. Or there's a new enemy. You need to throw a bomb. It's like a, a turtle-like enemy. You need to throw a bomb at it to make it sort of open up. And then you can shoot its core. There are also going to be flies in this area. So for one of the trophies, make sure you um, throw a bomb at a fly so it sticks to it. But then don't shoot the bomb. Let the bomb explode with the fly uh, on the floor. And you'll get a trophy for that. So make sure you do that because the, all the combat ones are missable. Uh, so once you've done that, once all of the enemies are dead, you can use this uh, flower up here to come up here and get the second rot for the area. There'll be a big flower ahead of you here. You can, you'll need to uh, blow up so you gain access to this. And we're obviously using bombs here to get up. You need to be fairly quick, especially when you uh, come to crossing it later on. We'll just jump up to the kind of left-hand side as you look at it first. And there's going to be the only hat of the area, which is beetle. Or beetles. Is it just... No, it's just one beetle. Uh, and there's a few, obviously a few other baskets and things there. Again, I'll show you the map. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, why? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I'm just waiting for this to time down. Because I'm going to have to... If I start doing it now, I'll just fall off. There we go. So throw a bomb at this uh, rock over here. And then while that's kind of recharging, let that explode automatically. 
and then throw one down here. So that's going to reveal a flower. You'll need to shoot the crystal on the bottom of that. It looks like a table to me, so I'm going to go with table. <laughs> and then you can zoom across. And there's going to be a flower in front of you here. You need to blow up. And then this is your second lock for the door. Obviously, just line it up again. Simple enough. And once you've done that, you're going to want to come up here and get the last rot. So to finish off the area, you would just drop down instead of coming up here and then do a pulse in that, that circle again. But to finish off all the collectibles, come up here, pulse on here. Now you actually have to be really quick with this one. There's five targets. Uh, you can get them as you see this one's just going to drop there. You can still get them, but once they're all done, um, you're going to get the final rot. And that's it for this area, very quick. So drop down and continue on. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.